Oh my god. <laughs> so, that was fucking stressful. I, I got to work, though. So, what did I get to work? I will show you in a sec here. I will actually just explain it to you right now. So, luckily I had my, my enchanted forest music to listen to. Thank you, meditative minds. Whatever mind, I don't know. I'm not, that's not a plug. I needed that, though. As you can see, there's like a billion tabs up here. This is me trying to figure out how to get cron tab to work with rsync, which on Catalina, which is what I'm running right now, there's a lot of red tape. A lot of red tape, mostly in their lovely security and privacy doodle. And as you can see, this was kind of the fix here. Had to make sure that what was going. All right, one uh, rsync, okay, sh. Um, the automator, the specific app, app, I'm using that term light, lightly. <laughs> if you've ever used automator, you, you know what I mean? Uh, and calendar, because that's what I was using for this. They all had to be enabled just to run a, a scriptlet, like literally a one liner. And I'll show you the script. It's really simple. It's just an R sync. And then I'll, I'll demonstrate it happening with the calendar. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. I'm proud of it. So, uh, you can kind of see that. <clears throat> this is the uh, the cloud store. I'm calling it Cloud Space right now as the host. And you can see there's two uh, USB drives. This is all just a prototyping. Uh, I have part of it on GitHub right now. It wasn't rsync. It was just NAS, um, you know, network attached storage, uh, and RAID. RAID 1, so it's mirrored. It's redundant, fully redundant. I prefer that for now. I know it's not faster. Get mad at me later. Uh, but yeah, excitingly enough, it works on a Mac. I'm sure it'd be much easier. It, it would be much easier on a Linux, obviously, because they don't have all this stupid red, red tape. Um, and probably would be easier on a Windows too. I'm not sure if they have cron tab, but task scheduler is pretty good. Uh, but now I, I know how to do this. I can show you guys and it's uh, it's actually pretty useful. You can you can do it with other things. Like if you want to open up a web page at a certain time of day um, or an application or a document that you edit like a journal or something, I don't know. Uh, you can do it with calendar and the automator. Automator comes with Apple, with Mac. If you have any questions, you know, just drop them in the comments or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Easy stuff to do. So let me show you the script like I promised I would. I just call it sync drives sh. So I'm, I'm using the X code editor. I don't, I, it's, it looks nice, but honestly it keeps, it's a lot of space that it takes up. A lot of unnecessary. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty big. Anyways, so it's just this one liner. I don't even, I don't even need this. This was just to log stuff. Um, so I'll just I'll put that down there. But yeah, so it's rsync. Can you see that? Okay. <clears throat> rsync, very useful. Uh, A, which I'm pretty sure is um, all. And then V is just verbose. I, I was using that to log. Let me see if I still have all that lovely nonsense. Yeah, look at this. This is this, is this morning before I went boxing. <laughs> this is the log file I, I created. Um, and I was just tr uh, tailing it and just seeing a bunch of different annoying errors and trying to figure it out and using Google and all the blogs that, blogs that are on there. This is an attempt to get rsync to work on CronTab, which anything later than uh, High Sierra from what I read um, and also experienced like pretty much after I went up to Catalina, uh, it broke because of their security and privacy. So basically Mac is not dev friendly you know, who knew? Anyways, uh, so it's, yeah, so the, the trick is, is pretty simple, honestly, once, once I figured it out. Uh, I'd have to do a little bit more checking and testing to know exactly what things I had to unlock, um, give full disk access, which, yes, it might not be wise necessarily, but look, I'm, dude, don't judge me, all right? <laughs> This is all experimentation right here. So, <clears throat> uh, from what I can tell, sh to run the shell script, rsync to run rsync. Uh, this might be important, not sure. The automator, um, 
the actual, this is what I'm calling it, sync drives, um, and then a calendar, right? So then in the Automator app, I'll open up the app sync drives. So the, there's sync drives, the .sh file, and then I'm calling um, this the same. Yeah, here's a cool trick. If you want to search by uh, kind, you can do that just by typing in kind colon app. And uh, so on the desktop, where are we? Oh my goodness. Well, that was not helpful. Um, name, I think I can do that here. Um, sync. Drive. Is that gonna? Okay. Well, at any way, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the. Just search it the old school way, huh? Typing with one hand is a little weird. Maybe I didn't save it there. I thought I saved it there. Um. Okay, well there it is, sync drive apps, which is... Oh, I guess that makes sense. So it's saving it in um, in library, under, under the profile, under my profile, in library, workflows, applications, calendar. Lovely. Um, but so, so that's where that's at here, let's, let's go there. Copy that. I think I can do that. And then we'll, um, what is it? There we go. Type that in. Okay. And there it is. Sync drive. So there's this app here. <clears throat> that app. Uh, we'll open that up. <laughs> Take a look at what that looks like. I know this is, this is rolling on. This is like seven minutes. Jeez. Okay. Uh, open Sesame. What? It's not liking how I'm opening this. Maybe it's already open. Oh yeah, well anyways, yeah, okay. No, I showed you guys the script here. This is the script that it's using. All my tabs. Jeez. Jeez Louise, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, no, it's just trying to run while I'm doing that. Um, I gotta... I'm still learning how, how to use this thing. So, okay, sync drives. We're in the automator. This is what sync drives looks like. Very simple, right? Literally all I'm doing. Uh, it, this was to Zish. I, I don't know Zish very well yet. I don't really like it, to be honest. I'm sure it's great. Uh, the review said it was great, whatever. <clears throat> so, uh, what I did here was I created a, a calendar. Um, a calendar. Is that right? Uh, I think I just did, yeah, I think I did new calendar. Or it was calendar event, I believe. Let's see, what does that look like? Okay, well that probably would have been better to do it like that, to be honest. I think I'll switch to that. But what, what I did is I opened up a new calendar and then I, no, nope, that's a lie. What did I do? Oh God. <laughs> uh, I, here, this is what I did. I did this, oh, okay calendar alarm I opened up a calendar alarm um, I might switch the configuration of this or like what I'm using but this this is a calendar alarm and then um, this is just the FQDN the fully qualified well okay it's not an FQDN but this is the uh, fully qualified name there's no domain really I, mean, I guess this is the domain is root whatever uh, and this is the the shell script right <clears throat> And here is it uh, in the calendar. I muted everything else in my calendar just because, you know, it was easier to troubleshoot this way. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of what this actually does. Uh, here's tests. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete test. I'm going to copy test. I'm going to delete test. Can I paste that back in? All right, good. Fuck. Okay, there. So... <laughs> As you can see, there's nothing that says test in here. I'm gonna delete it. This is up. This is the raid. This is that guy over there. I'm deleting that too. All right. Yes, I want to delete that. This is the redundancy. This is 
all this that's saved under my raid, I know, it's cute, right? I named it my raid, um, is, is on that over there. Not attached to my computer in any way besides through the ethernet, but it, it doesn't have to be through ethernet, it could be through the Wi-Fi signal, the magical Wi-Fi signal. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> Probably can, I'm gonna watch this afterwards. Anyways, so, uh, I'm going to paste that back in here. And it's, so it's not here in this course notes thing. This is all that script does. It just looks at this thing on my local, on this computer here, this directory called course notes that's in my desktop, on my desktop, and it just copies it over there. Um, it doesn't delete stuff that's deleted from here. So it's not like version controlling, not like Git. And I, I might do that later, but this is just the first step of many steps. Um, <clears throat> So here it is in the calendar. Now this is probably a really hacky way to do this and I will do more, but I'm just excited that it worked. And I'm gonna make this alarm happen every day at 6 a.m. probably. Uh, just so it's synced daily, either that or, well, I might, I might do experiments with it uh, where it's closed as well. Um, like the computer's closed, shell's closed, and then also sleep to see if this will actually run. Uh, I suppose I could read, but honestly, stuff's not always up to date, and Mac just loves to just fuck with you. They just, they just do. I don't know why. So back to here. Uh, as you can see, it's open file. And it, 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 it was confusing um, here. So, alert. At time of event, instead of, you know, something like this, I say at time of event, I go to custom. Uh, I make it open a file, this file, the the automator file, syncdrives.app, at the time of the event. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna do that, and I can see that the time is, you can see, okay. It's like 14 after 11, right? So, I'm gonna say at 15 after, we're gonna run this. Now, bear with me. This is my local one. This is the, the pie over there. Uh, it looks the same except that it doesn't have the file test in it at all Okay So we're gonna run down the clock <laughs> And it's a little bit laggy and I think that's because it's going through the network, too uh, So as you can see it's 15 after now and in a sec we'll get a notification from the calendar app saying hey this thing happened and then we'll see this change and add or test file into this directory called course notes. There's that, right? So it says that. Oh, yay, okay, cool. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll close that out. You don't need that. And, oh, wait, what happened, right? Oh, wait, there it is. Did it. I fucking did it. Anyways, um, I know that was a super fucking long video and I didn't really give very good explanations, but to me, it's exciting. If you find this nerdy stuff interesting, you know, hit me up, whatever. I'm always down to collaborate. Uh, always trying to find more time to do stuff. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll eventually get this into the GitHub <laughs> uh, doc, the thing that I have going on. But I'll put that in the link, what I have. And uh, it's really simple. It says it's a five minute read according to GitHub. If you have two thumb drives and a Raspberry Pi and a network connection and another computer, <laughs> you can do this. You can do all of this. I'll put the rsync part in there soon, soon enough. Uh, maybe in the next couple weeks. I like to have good code, scripts, whatever. Anyways, you beautiful, wonderful people. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And stay, uh, stay swifty, right?